hot bitch. girl chops. You're like sick to your stomach because okay, you're that, sick. This is like not going well. <laughs> kitchen and you know what today is not just hot girl kitchen oh i got excited oh king mature <laughs> but it's hot girl chopped i know you've all seen chopped and guess what anyway let's move on anywho moving on ow so, you better watch it <laughs> okay please take take me so anywho we are going to do our own version of chopped and we have two special judges that are going to go ahead and tell us which they prefer. So basically, our edition of Chopped is a little bootleg. You know, like mm -hmm. if you've ever watched Chopped, they give you a basket of ingredients and there's and like weird really crazy. And you have to like We're be just creative. doing the same thing. We don't necessarily have all that creativeness. Creativity. Creativeness. Okay. Sometimes the illiteracy just jumps out of Melissa. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, we don't have all those ingredients that are disposed, like in the chopped kitchen. They'll say, like, here's a basket of weird shit. And then you have a whole Plus warehouse of, of ingredients to choose from. Whereas here, we would have to, like, go to the store. So, like, we're not doing all that. We, so, no basket of ingredients. So what we're going to do is we're making two very similar items. We're both making stuffed peppers, each with our own twist. Well, mine really isn't a twist. Mine's, like, a real stuffed pepper. And hers is, like, um, a healthy version. She's so inappropriate. So let me tell you guys what we use in a traditional stuffed pepper. So this is kind of my grandma's recipe. Um, I'm going to follow it as best as I can because there's really not a recipe for it. She just, like, made it. So we're just hoping that I can reproduce it with no instructions. Um, all you need is peppers, obviously. I don't really like green peppers because they're like a more bitter flavor. So I normally do yellow, orange, and red. You need meat. So this is actually a meatloaf mix, which I want to say is like pork, veal, maybe one other item, but it's a surprise. Whatever surprise it is, it's a surprise. Sense. Yeah. It's a, a, an interesting thing. We're going to learn as we go. Um, you need an egg. You need breadcrumbs, and it wouldn't be me if I didn't use some spices from Penzi's. I'm going to use pasta sprinkle, roasted garlic, and my Trinidad tried and true lemon garlic. Um, I would also maybe love a red pepper flake if Melissa could supply that ever so lovingly, unless she decides to, like, sabotage me in the competition. She's like, well, damn, I'm not giving you a single red pepper flake because I want your shit to be whack. We'll see. Wow, she's so, such a good sport. Crushed red pepper flakes. Um, Breadcrumbs. Don't remember if I said that yet or not. Uh, well, now I'm saying it again. Um, Italian seasoned. And when I asked my mom, she was very not helpful. I was like, so what all exactly do I need? And like, what, like how long do I need to put in the oven for it? What temperature? She was like, well, you just like get this and you throw the little bit in. Like you might need some of this. Well, one of the things we might need is milk to keep it, like, bound together. But that's TBD. So we have milk just in case. And then tomato soup. So my grandma didn't use, like, sauce. She would just use, like, a can of tomato soup. So I got a regular, like, creamy tomato soup that I'm going to mix with this tomato and roasted red pepper soup. I didn't want to use just this because we're already using peppers. So, like, I didn't want to be, like, really, like, peppery. So, okay. my turn. So this is the healthy edition. So this is the traditional. I wouldn't necessarily say Manja, healthy. Manja, chow. I wouldn't say healthy. I would say... Healthier alternative. I mean, it's, di it's different. I would say this is the vegetarian. Vegan. Oh, vegetarian. Not vegan. Cheese is not vegan. Vegetarian option. So I love yellow peppers. That's my... When I'm doing a stuffed pepper, I prefer to do the yellow pepper. She especially loves ones that aren't ripe yet, apparently. <laughs> She's so <laughs> jealous of my ripe peppers and it shows. Mozzarella, fresh basil, quinoa, which I already pre-cooked because 
because she's cheating in the competition. Well, it's a little time consuming and it's a lot easier if this is already ready to rock. And then, if you don't know how to make quinoa, just read the directions on the package. Yeah. And then we have some red sauce that I already had ready. It is sticky garlic method, similar, maybe a little spicier than that. So you've already seen our sticky garlic. We know sure. you're obsessed with us. Yeah. You've already seen you it. You liked and subscribed. You already liked it. You already shared it. You probably watched it more than one time. So I, I know you know what this is. So this, if not, we'll link the video below. But you know. But yes, we will. So I am much more minimal with my ingredients. I'm also going to use some spices, but I'm more of a in-the-moment type of gal for spices. So That is really helpful to the viewers at when home I, trying to prepare. <laughs> and like, oh, what do I need to buy to make Melissa's Whenever I'm doing it in real time, I will let you guys know what spices I choose. Interesting. Looks like I'm already off to a great start since I'm a little bit more prepared. One of us is better, and we will see at the end who that is. Period. So let me start by showing you how to make the traditional stuffed peppers. Ground beef, pork, and veal. So just as I suspected. So you start with your meatloaf mix in a bowl, and you, like, take a fist, and you, like, punch it, and put, like, a hole in the middle. Isn't that fun? And then in the middle is where you're going to put all of your items, such as this egg. You crack an egg. 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 Sorry, how do you say egg? <laughs> okay, we're just going to get a fork and not use a whisk for this because I'm lazy. So obviously you beat the egg so that it's like beaten. <laughs> I don't know what's, like, the proper term. And then you add in... I'm going to add in some of my spices. So some garlic. This is, like, to taste. You don't really need to add these things. But, you know, everything I make is full of flavor. So I'm adding them. Um, and then, as you know, my iconic pasta sprinkle from Penzi's, which is basil, oregano, thyme, and garlic. Look at my fat arm jiggling. That's really not the vibe. <laughs> Smells like lipos on the list of must-haves post-quarantine. And then some red peeper flakes. Oh, oops, I spilled some. And then you're going to add about a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. We're just going to start with that. I'll let you know if we need to add more. Then you're going to mix it all together with your hands. Mm. This is really lovely. And so basically the point of that, not only were you adding flavor, but like adding the egg and stuff, is so that the meat all sticks together when you're cooking it and doesn't like fall apart and fall out of the pepper because that would just be like atrocious. That would not be the appropriate vibe. So it's actually looking like it's kind of this is so appetizing looking. It looks like it's sticking together properly, does it not? Yeah. I believe. So it looks like I've used the right ratio of, of items. So the milk was just in case the egg didn't make it stick together enough. But I suspect that it is stuck well enough. So now what you do is just kind of portion it out and stick it right into your peppers like so. So we had a few questions from some viewers, um, you know, asking whether or not I pre-cook my meat before I stuff the pepper, and the answer is no. What you're going to do is stick the peppers stuffed like this in the oven at 350 for like, let's just say an hour. So this was another thing that my mom was very vague about. I was like, so how long do you cook them? She's like, oh, till they're done. And I was like, well, thank you so much. It's so helpful. Um, but she said about an hour. So in maybe 45 minutes, I'm going to check them to see, like, what's the vibe? What's the tea? What's the 411? Um, and maybe use a meat thermometer to see if they're done. And how you know if they're done or not is when the meat is reads a temperature of 165 degrees. So there's that. And then actually something that would be really 
a great addition is maybe if I added some of Melissa's basil, she'd like to share. Um, okay, thank you so much for that um, kind gesture. So, going to arrange my peppers on this lightly greased baking sheet. Don't worry, I washed my hands post um, handling the meat. We don't want to give anyone salmonella. Maybe we do if they vote against me. <clears throat> Better watch out. Your ass will wake up and won't be feeling so pleasant. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to put some fresh basil. If I really wanted to be a saboteur, I, do you know what that means? I bet you're going to tell the audience what that means. Yep, yeah, because I bet you're not going to. Sure It's not. a person that sabotages. If I really wanted to be a saboteur, I would use all of Melissa's basil so that she didn't have any for herself Yeah, you're going to use all of that. But I think that <laughs> would be sabotaging myself because that's a little much basil. So, now that we've done that, I'm going to add our tomato soup on top. You just kind of... Wow, this is really fabulous looking. <laughs> just distribute on top. That one's a little bit extra thick. <laughs> oh my god, where am I going to put mine? i got to get a whole new pan. <laughs> and then I'm going to add some of this roasted Why red you pepper shake wine. It? Oh, shake it. That's such a great tip. tip. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Shake well. Oh my God. <laughs> Who would have imagined? I would have never thought. Okay, so maybe. Do you want to get me a spoon? No. Get yourself one. This is a competition, bitch. <laughs> you better watch it. Because I'll come for you. You don't want these Bitch, problems. Bitch, come for me. Bet you my peppers will still be tasting fire. Bitch, if I, when I come for you, it won't be on camera. Best believe. Uh-uh, no evidence. All right, pour your soup. Now that that is, has been shaken well, per directions, I'm going to add my delicious soup on top. And pop it in the oven for about an hour, and I'm actually going to do that right now while Melissa starts her journey, so that we're not taking up too much of your the viewer's time. So right now, I'm going to take my red oh, sauce. I'm so shaky. Okay, there we go. And let that heat up for a second over a pan before I mix in my quinoa. So let's just give that a let that hose sizzle. Oh, wow. High definition. So now that this is heated up, we're going to add in our quinoa to the hot red sauce. And we're just going to stir this around so you get the quinoa covered. This is so that you can really infuse the quinoa with the delicious flavors of the homemade sticky garlic mm -hmm. sauce, which we are going to link below. Sure Since are. Since made it in advance and is Depriving the viewers of that viewing pleasure. <laughs> yep, and so it's ready to stick in our peppers. Oh, ready to stick it in. That's what every girl loves to hear. So, to stuff my peppers, you're going to start with... <laughs> stuff her peppers. She loves getting stuffed. You're going to start with a piece of mozzarella on the bottom, because these are extra cheesy. Just like you. Shut up. So I can't wait for all of, everything to fall out because you didn't make nice little boats. I can't wait for you to shut up so I can show people how to make my peppers. Anywho, you're going to take your quinoa, which is now covered in... In case she wants to play games, okay? It's now covered in your red sauce. We're stuffing these. Why I call them caprese is because it's not necessarily... Also known as caprese. Why I call them caprese is because not a piece of tomatoes in there, but this is a red tomato sauce, so. But do you remember chow? I know that it's not pronounced caprese or whatever she said. All right. Well, guess what? It is now. 
whatever I say it is. Our Italian international fans will disagree. <laughs> we'll let them disagree in the comment section. Okay. You can go ahead and leave a comment. And like and subscribe. Yeah, as long as you're, as long as you're subscribed, you can disagree all you want. Yeah, but don't dislike the video. That's so rude. You know, some people dislike our videos. Like, wow, what did we do to y'all that you hate us so bad that you dislike the video? Like, well, damn. Okay, thanks. It's just rude. Haters will hate. At the end Save of the day, at the end of the day, you they won't. still watched it though. Oh, grrr, a views of you. We'll take it. Thank you. And best believe you won't say it to our face. Period. So. Mm mm. Wow, it's really loaded up. This is a cheesy, cheesy mm -hmm. pepper. And I'm going to wait till Matt's oh, just slice my hand up any bit. Maybe I'll put these down. Yeah, why do you I need these? them for protection from your daggers, your verbal daggers. <laughs> and I'm going to probably stuff these in the oven right towards the end of... Stuff is just your favorite word today. Yeah. I just put them in to melt, so that's like 15 minutes-ish. And they're melted, they're ready to rock, they're ready to eat. You don't have to spend too much time. Maybe 20 to 30 if you're really feeling extra extraordinary. We're just going to go with the flow. Interesting. You were just like really close to me for a minute. It was like awkward. Okay. We're just going to go This with is the a flow. better distance. This is a better view too. I bet y'all disagree. So, as you can see, our stuffed peppers are done. We've plated them. We, I did my yellow peppers as well, since she also did yellow peppers. That way it's like an even judging. Um, so, on this side, we have the meat version, the traditional Italian version. And then on the right side, we have Melissa's healthier. I, I was plugging Team it as like a healthy it, thing, yeah. but apparently it's not super healthy. So, it's a healthier alternative. So now let's introduce our judges. We have Michelle. Hi. And Hi. as you, when you see us like looking gorgeous and glowing with our Those spray are tans. Those spray tans. Yes, Michelle is this queen of Glow Studio PGH, so hit her up. We also have Kalia, and her makeup obviously looks bomb. And your makeup channel is? Kalia Ray, that's C-A-L-E-A-R-A-E. Mm -hmm. And we will link that below as well. So they are going to each try a bite and let us know what's the Who's tea. The so we're letting you know which one we think. Are yeah, we gonna, so which yeah. one do you try first, the quinoa one? Okay, yeah. yeah. you can have more than one bite. <laughs> like, I'm saying if you need to, like, go You're back. only rationed one bite. <laughs> well, I'm saying you can, I, like, I made a big bite. Try before you make a final decision. And that one's good, huh? I don't know. I think this one looks the best, too. Bitch! <laughs> I know you like that meat. I like mm. me some meat, so. <laughs> Michelle's a big oh, carnivore. I'm ready to dig into this one. I like cheese, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, we could have added cheese had I known that that was going to be a criteria. <laughs> it's like an on, on your own topping thing. <laughs> It's yeah, extra hot. So I nervous. My palate. I know. Oh, yeah. We, we a... should have gotten them some <laughs> coffee beans. I'm like... It's falling apart here. Doesn't seem like they like it. It's good. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go with the first one. It had more flavor. Mm. What do you think? Same. It had more flavor. I thought that was gonna happen. <laughs> the cheese, not the cheese. <laughs> every time, every damn time, I make my grandma's recipes. Everybody is like, "Oh, who would ever eat that?" <laughs> R.I.P. Grandma. Oh, I just yeah, they're we so love disrespectful. You, but we wish you would have wrote them down because Matt. Right, it's a little harder for me to do the iteration. I think you just need a cheese. If you yeah. want to do the mozzarella cheese on yours. Well, damn. See, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know that that was going to be a judgment criteria because 
when you're eating them at home, like if you wanted cheese, you would add cheese. Where's the cheese? I think I used all the mozzarella. Oh, uh, well, it sounds like sabotage. Yeah, no, I know. No, it's a one. It was, it was kind of a landslide. Well, damn. I'm not going to lie. I might hang myself later. <laughs> But your crab mm. cakes were yeah, fabulous. Yeah, the crab cakes are amazing. I no. would have never. Don't forget to like and Winter. subscribe. And don't forget when you make stuffed peppers to cook them in a glass dish and not on a flat pan. When you make his. Real hot girl shit.